Hello, my name is Sanjeev Tripathi. In this video, I will explain and demonstrate local variable type inference. Before I will go on Java 10 feature local variable type inference, I want to first talk about what is a type inference first of all. Type inference is a mechanism by which compiler determines the type automatically and developer don't need to write the redundant type explicitly. Type inference is not new in Java 10. We have seen type inference in Java 7. We have seen type inference in Java 8 as well. In Java 7, for diamond operator, JDK uses type inference. In Java 8, for lambda expression, JDK used type inference. For type inference in lambda expression, you can watch my other video on topic functional programming and lambda expression. In this video, I will explain and demo Java 10 local variable type inference. Here is a demo class written in IntelliJ IDEA and this is a main method and this is a local variable defined inside the method and this is initialized uh, with the string John. So in Java 10, developer can use keyword var in place of uh, string. The compiler can determine the type of local variable name from variable initializer. So this is a variable initializer. So compiler can determine what would be the type at compile time itself. So here instead of writing a string in Java 10, we can write var and it is still fine. Similarly, another variable, this is also local variable customer list. And this is also initialized with the array list of a string. And uh, this variable also, instead of defining its type list string in Java 10, we can use keyword var. The compiler can determine the type from the this variable initializer. So in Java 10, you don't have to write the type of the variable because it's redundant. The compiler can determine from, uh, from its uh, initializer itself. Now I will show you where all we can use the keyword var and compiler can, can determine the type from its initializer. Here is the iteration variable customer and uh, we can use the I var here and will you find because compiler can determine the type of this customer variable by looking at the customer list and determine this is a type of a string or a list of a string. So this would be the string. So we don't have to say here a string var is sufficient and compiler can determine it. Similarly, other place we can use uh, here we are saying the index of the for loop is of type int and uh, ab write of type var it is also fine because uh, it's redundant to say it's integer because uh, compiler itself can know by looking at these values that is a type of int. Now I will tell you other places we can use. This is the method defined here and it returns the list of strings. So uh, we are assigning this return method whatever it's returning to the variable addition customer additional customer and we are saying it's a list is type of a string this is redundant we can remove this and change to var and will be fine in java 10 because compiler can determine what is returning by looking at the return type of this method inside the static block also if we are initializing the variable we can use the type var instead of explicit type this is fine I can tell you one more place where we can use var. Here we are returning list string, but we can return var here because compiler can know what it is returning. It is returning list of strings. So we don't have to say explicitly at what it's returning. So it, it can return var here and it is fine. Now I will tell you few places where we cannot use var. We have to explicitly say the type of the variable and compiler cannot determine the type of the variable. So first thing I want to tell actually if we are not initializing it, we cannot use var. We can only use the var in local variable if we are initializing it. So if we are not initializing, it won't work. If we are initializing to the null, then there is no way compiler can know what would be the type. So it won't work. It will give the error. So this is not the place we use the var if we are not initializing or initializing to null. Now, I want to show you where else we cannot use the var. 
You cannot use the var in the method signature anywhere in the input argument or return type. Because there is no way a compiler can know what would be the type of this variable address until unless we are specifying explicitly. So we are using var, it will be so error. So this is error, this is red. It won't work. Change back to string. Similarly, uh, return type, you cannot uh, say type as a var. Guide won't work. You have to specify explicit return type. Here is a class variable name is status type is string and which is initialized to the string value in progress. Here we cannot change uh, type is string to var word. It won't work because uh, type inference only work for local variables. So we need to change back to the string. Explicit type is required here for class variables. This is all about uh, local variable type inference. Thanks for watching.